No, no. I don't wanna. I don't wanna talk about it. Okay, can we just can we just take a break? Later. Alright, so you get to Bedeker's place, then what? I uh get to his door and I can hear music inside, like squeaky voices. And I thought, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'd, <laughs> I knocked on his door, the music stopped, and then he was right there. When he saw the gun, um, he thought, I don't know what he thought, you know, he, he was just so scared. And he started talking, um, thinking he offered me money. He kept saying that, you know, you don't have to do this. His eyes were so big, you know, and then, uh, uh, I did it. Uh, this happened real fast, you know, I didn't want to look, but there was just blood everywhere. It was all over his books, all over his, uh, uh, I got down to the car and, uh, I couldn't drive, I couldn't even move. Next thing I know, uh, that dude's Victor is tapping on the window. And so that asshole takes me down to the lab, of course, and, uh, me, Mike, Victor, and Mr. White waiting for Gus to show up. And, uh,. <laughs> Oh, I saw this guy, Kubis, up front, laying a bunch of bullcrap on the engineer, but, you know, it's only going to work for so long. Uh, we're working as fast as we can, but it's going to, you know, it's going to take some time, and that pump is sounding real loud. You know, after we're done, Mike tells me that we should have been done, you know, five minutes earlier, but Mr. White's greedy. He, he, he needed his thousand gallons, like, exactly. So, once word comes down that we are done, um, I start hearing this clinking and, and clanking. You know, I'm still pulling hose from the, from the pump and, uh, and the train. It starts, it starts moving. So, I lay as flat as I can until the train passes me. So we are high-fiving because it worked, um, then you know, we turn around and there is this kid on a dirt bike looking at us. Drew Sharp, that, uh, that kid that went missing up in Whitehorse, it's him. And then out of nowhere, Todd, that opie, dead-eyed piece of shit, pulls out a gun. <laughs> Boom. Shoots the kid. Like it was nothing. You're gonna get him, right? You better believe it. What'd you do with the body? We took him back to uh, the Roach place. They threw him in a barrel and then poured acid all over him. You know, he was just a kid and he is dead because we wanted some methylmethyl.